on the track, converting the post fifth race. Arden Downs three-year-old Colt Trot, the James Mandarino for $29,369. Win play, six act to trifecta wagering, no show wagering here on the fifth. Number one, SJ's Caviar. Eli Solomon, Donald Bartling, Cosmos Horse Breeders Incorporated, Belinda Blanton trains, Bob Blanton Jr. on the one, SJ's Caviar. Number two is Can't Forget You. Mark Gamera of Parkland, Florida, and Thomas Williams of Charlotte, North Carolina. Mark Gamera trains and drives, hobble trot of the two, Can't Forget You. Number three, Incredibly Fast. Iris and Harry Horowitz of Brooklyn, New York. Tim Rucker trains. Debbie Rucker drives the three incredibly fast. Number four, Tiff Tough Tag. Carrie Norris, WRL Stable, Can-Am Stable, and William Lance, the owners. Charlie Norris trains and drives. Hobble trot of the four. Tiff Tough Tag. Number five, prized victory. Dean Davis of Worcester and Brenda Sugg of DeBray, Florida. Mark Ford trains. Dave Pallone drives the five. Prized victory. Number six is worst case scenario. William Zent, Leslie Zent of Pennsylvania. Leslie Zent trains. Bill Zent drives the trot of the six. Worst case scenario. Number seven is superstar noon. Robert Key of Leechburg, Pennsylvania. Francisco Del Cid trains. Brian Sears drives a seven. Superstar noon. Number eight, CR. Pants on fire. Don Renee Allen of the Cala, Florida. Carl Allen trains and drives the eight. CR. Pants on fire. And number nine, Torch Bear. Royal Wire Products Incorporated of Ohio. Don Swick of Florida. Don Swick trains and drives the nine. Torch Bear. Bearer. Win play show. Make that win place. Exact a trifecta wagering. No show wagering on the fifth. The, the three year old Colt Trot. $29,369 from the inside out. SJ's Caviar. Can't forget you. Incredibly fast. Tiff Top Tag. Prize victory. Worst case scenario. Superstar Noon. CR Pants on Fire and Torch Bearer on the outside. The gate swings around the turn, and there they go. They're off and trotting. Worst case scenario goes for the lead. The inside incredibly fast. SJ's Caviar moves up the inside, backing off Tiff Tough Tag fourth. CR Pants on fire, fifth on the outside. Racing six, can't forget you. He entered the turn, prize victory. Racing seventh, Superstar Noon, eight, tread in the field. Torch Bear as the race around the turn, go on to the first quarter mark. Field of trotters by the quarter in 28 and four. And on the move, SJ's Caviar and Bob Blanton Jr. to the front end. Incredibly fast, racing second. Tip top tag. Third, racing four, CR Pants on fire. Fifth is Can't Forget You. Racing six, prized victory. Racing seven, superstar new. Worst case scenario, off stride. Trid in the field, torch bear, and SJ's caviar's opened up by six. Halfway home, 57 and one, 28 and two. Second quarter, down the backside. Tiff Tough tags a chasing for Charlie Norris. Going to the three quarter mark, SJ's Caviar, the leader, by seven lengths. Tiff Top Tag is second. CR Pants on fire. Third on the outside as they race into the turn and go to the three-quarter mark. SJ's Caviar, three quarters, 125 and one. Backside in 28. SJ's Caviar leads the field by 10. Racing second. Tiff Top Tag is a chasing, but to no avail on the outside prize victory. Down the stretch they trot. The top three-year-old trotter in all of harness racing gonna get another one. SJ's Caviar in one fifty-four, one fifth. Tiff Top Tag was second. SJ's Caviar. Well, that is the Tiff fastest. Tough tag. It's the fastest trot mile we have ever seen here. But it's shy of the world's record. Yes. Which Bob Blanton wanted in the deepest of ways. Mm -hmm. Into the winner's circle.
number one, SJ's Caviar. Eli Solomon, Don Bartling, Cosmos Horse Breeders Incorporated, Linda Blanton Trains, Bob Blanton Jr. Drives, three-year-old Cole Best, Jay's Photo to Spawning. Establishes a state's record, a track record for three-year-old trotting colts at uh, Meadows. Equals the world's record, as he did last week at Pocono. World's record initially established by Mac Lobel at Pompano Park in 1987. Equal last week and equal again tonight. Chris Blaine and Dr. Bob Finksler, the presentation to the Solomons in the winner's circle and driver Bob Blanton, Jr. What do you say about this one? 16 wins, 22 lifetime starts. Adds about 14-5 tonight. This year alone, 197, make that $997,000 lifetime earnings, approaching $1.1 million. Make no doubt about it. This is the number one trotter in the U.S. of A, SJ's Caviar, come on, let's give him a big hand. He's been a standout at the Meadows. We thank the Solomons and Bobby Blanton. Mm. 154 and one on a track. Listed as what, sloppy? I wonder if they'll change the track condition. <laughs> Number one, SJ's. Bob Blanton, but there was an anxious moment leaving. Tell us a little bit about it. Definitely. I, I don't remember who it was, but he got a little close to me about three times, and I, I said a few words, but uh, as it come out, it, it come out all right. You know, if somebody asked me what you do for a living, and for that uh, minute 54 and one, uh, not much. You just basically let the uh, colt do it on his own. He's a fabulous horse. He's been off a couple of weeks. A uh, little freshening help him? Yes, it definitely does. Uh, he loses a lot of weight during the racing time, and uh, we turn him out, and he uh, gets fattened back up a little bit, gets a little energy, and uh, he, he performs a lot better. Uh, I didn't think I have him tight enough, but I can't tell what's the track the way it is. Uh, bad. We can't do anything about that. Mother Nature did it. I presume you were just racing to win. You weren't worried about records, although you got a pass of them here tonight. No, I, I wasn't worried about a record. We just sat and riding. Congratulations, and uh, do it some more this season. Let me ask Eli Solomon, one of the owners here. We're not going to talk anything about Hamiltonian payments, but Eli, tell me a little bit about where we go from here with this great, great trotter. Well, next uh, Saturday, we'll be at the Onkis Trot Elimination, and hopefully the week after that, uh, the Onkis Trot Final. And we've got a uh, decision to make down uh, about the World Trotting Derby, which is not really uh, something that I think we'll do because it really makes the schedule pretty bad for us. Uh, on the other hand, I think we have some stuff in Pennsylvania, and we'll probably do those and then uh, go on to make a decision on Kentucky Futurity, and then possibly in this stretch of races that we planned for him, the Breeders' Crown at Woodbine. Well, uh, the folks in Illinois aren't going to be happy to hear that. The folks in Pennsylvania are going to hear those uh, things. Uh, Eli, congratulations. He's a magnificent animal. We feel honored to have seen him here tonight. Thank you. It's been our pleasure to be here and to be at all the other tracks. They've treated us really well, and I'm sure the horse himself senses it and realizes it. Congratulations. Gentlemen, I was at the Hamiltonian last week. I saw Stefan Melander's Colt uh, uh, win that one rather easily, but I think he would have had his hands full had S.J. Caviar been kept eligible. Gentlemen, back to you.